you're my energy. I was telling somebody the other day, sometimes it can be like, you know, being broken up with 30,000 times in a week. That's all the energy and I'm such an empath because I have so much water in my chart that I just had to take a little bit of a break. So you're getting your reading, Gemini. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, March 1st through the 15th, 2019. Like, share, subscribe, please. If you need a private reading, all the information's in the description box. Just reach out to me and I will be glad to do that. Phone reading is being extended into March, so you're getting like, I don't know, almost half off. So book those, those slots. You have to, have to, have to email me though. Don't book it through the calendar. Just pay, book it and pay for it and then reach out and we'll schedule something. Um, all right. Other than that, let's take a look. Gemini, what's coming in March 1st to the 15th, 2019 for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, I'm going to use the Rider weight and then the After Tarot to clarify your love reading. Gemini. All right, let's take a big fat look. All right, coming into the current moment. There you are. Hi, Gemini. Major Arcana for Gemini. we got the lovers. Your challenge is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Gemini, what's on your mind is the Two of Wands in reverse. Recent past, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. The situation of why everything's happening is the Hierophant. Coming in, what you're going to experience is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. How you see yourself is the Eight of Wands. In your environment is the Seven of Cups. In your emotions, we have the Page of Pentacles. Outcome, Gemini, is the Page of Swords in reverse. All right, you guys. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, Ace of Wands in reverse. Some of you might be in a sex-only type relationship. Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. Or it's like a false start. It's like something that starts quickly, but then it ends quickly. Okay. <clears throat> Is kind of what I'm getting. Or somebody's lost the passion. That's the overall energy. Coming in, we have the lovers. This is you guys. I think that this is you guys making a decision, right? Head over heart decision. It could be a really strong union, attraction, you know, partnership. But I also feel like you guys are making a very important decision or you have a choice. It has to do with the King of Pentacles in reverse. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This King of Pentacles in reverse, though, is not about a commitment. I mean, they're not. They're self-focused. It can be very selfish energy. They might be concentrating more on work. They're lacking stability or lacking finances here. Because on your mind is... <clears throat> Two of Wands in reverse. You guys aren't even planning for the future in this situation. Or they're not. Somebody isn't. And it has to do with a relationship. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Okay? Somebody in the scenario is all about a commitment or a long-term relationship. That's why everything's happening. You're making a decision about this person who's either breaking away from that or is more self-focused on something else. Therefore, there's no plans being made, no action being taken. But I think you guys kind of got over it in the past with the Three of Swords. This could be you guys getting over something else, too, in the recent past. There's, there's healing there. It's still there, the energy of a breakup or disappointment or something, but you guys started to heal that. Now, coming in, what you're going to experience is some delays or stuck or feeling like things aren't going your way with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Maybe some bad karma. I'm just saying. Either you or the other person or just a lack of change. You see yourself right now as the Eight of Wands. You might want to communicate with this person. But also, we have to remember a Gemini. The Eight of Wands isn't just about communication. It's action. It's quick. It's also release. So I think you guys, because on your mind, you don't see moving forward or plans being made. You guys, I think, are wanting to move forward and to release something. You want change with the Eight of Wands as well, having to do with relationship. I, I get the feeling that maybe some of you want a strong commitment, marriage, relationship, and you're dealing with somebody that doesn't, is what I'm feeling. They might just be in it for the passion, too. So in your environment, Gemini, we have the Seven of Cups. See, this person probably has options. That's kind of what I'm feeling, and that's this. I think that's this person, even if they're not an earth sign. They may be confused, or they just may have other options, but in your emotions is the Page of Pentacles. More earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You guys see the potential or value in something. You want to communicate. You want to research. You want to learn. The Page of Pentacles is all about learning, but the Page of Pentacles also is giving a gift or a, some type of communication or an offer or something but it's worth, it's value, it's potential. Most likely outcome is the Page of Swords in reverse. This could be y'all, Gemini, right? But it's also like a lack of communication or it's like somebody's no longer investigating research. 
They're not researching. They might just be keeping an eye on you or you them, but there's no communication or you're dealing with somebody maybe that was lying. All right. So let's take a big fat look for Gemini. All right. We're going to use the after tarot Gemini to clarify your reading and see what the hell is going on. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, March 1st through March 15th, 2019. What does Gemini need to know, please? Love energy for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys will be at the top of the list for the next batch of love readings, okay? I promise. Give mom a break. I love you guys, and I'm sorry. I've never been late with readings, so I do apologize. But hopefully, you know, this will give you guys some, some messages, all right? All right, Gemini, what can they expect in love? March 1st through March 15th, 2019, Sun, Moon, Rising, Gemini. Gemini, what's coming in for Gemini, please? A couple more shuffles, you guys. Gemini. One more. One more shuffle, and then we're going to clarify this bad bitch of a reading. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, let's get to it. Let's cut her and do her. Or him, whatever, whatever floats your boat. All right, overall energy, we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Let's see why. You might be dealing with somebody that just wants sex, Gemini. I'm just saying, I'm just calling it like I see it. Nothing wrong with that unless you're not on that same sex boat. <clears throat> All right, Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is this the overall energy for Gemini? Ace of Wands in reverse. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. Again, it's kind of what I was feeling before. I feel like you guys are the Queen of Pentacles. I don't care if you're man, woman, dog, cat. The Queen of Pentacles, is she sees the potential or the value in something. She wants to be married. She wants to be in a commitment. She's bringing stability. She's very grounded. But I'm asking, well, why is there a delay? Or why is this energy of the Ace of Wands a false start? Okay, It's because somebody just wants probably passion. And doesn't see it going anywhere, but we have the Queen of Pentacles who does. And that's why the Hierophant's in the foundation. That's marriage, it's tradition, it's commitment. All right? Why is the Queen of Pentacles this overall energy for Gemini? What does she want? The moon. But see, there's confusion. Pisces energy. Also, too, for some of you guys, there's a damn Queen of Pentacles involved. I'm just saying. You guys are Queen of Swords, so who is this Queen of Pentacles? There's some secrets. Somebody might be having kind of like a fling or something here is what I'm seeing as well. All right. What's the moon? Why is the moon here? Why is this moon here? The star. Son of Aquarius. We got the moon and we got the star. Again, I feel like for the majority of you, this is you guys wanting to be that queen of pentacles. Or if you're a male, you want the queen of pentacles, right? But there's some confusion here about it. And it's trying. you guys are trying to manifest with the star energy. Get your wishes in. Now, the recent past, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Why is this here? That's your energy. Why is this Three of Swords in reverse? Yeah, there you are again. Gemini, lovers in reverse. You guys were getting over a breakup or something like that. That might be completely separate from this energy. Okay, there was a disunion with the lovers in reverse. Probably a strong union, maybe even a soulmate. But when that lovers comes out in reverse, it's just a breakup. I, you know, that's how I read it. On, on top of the Three of Swords in Reverse, it's a breakup. That Three of Swords in Reverse and the Lovers is both you, okay? Getting over it, healing. Coming in right now, we have the Lovers. So some of you are in a new relationship um, or making a decision here. Why is the Lovers here, please? Coming in for Gemini. There you are, Gemini, with the Lovers. Page of Wands. I think it's newer for a lot of you guys. Might be a younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Page of Wands is communication, manifestation, dating, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, some of you are trying to make a decision here, but I think this is just more the energy of like, yeah, you got something new going on here. Probably some passionate communication. But the challenge is this king of pentacles in reverse. I think this energy is causing some confusion here, you guys. Why is this king of pentacles in reverse for Gemini? The challenge, the hanged man, right? They're kind of stuck. They're just kind of hanging around, right? Not doing much, not taking much action. And you guys, and remember, these roles can be reversed. It's somebody, right? With the hangman energy, it's kind of gaining some enlightenment here, but it's not doing much. It's feeling stalled or stagnant. And it's on top of this uh, king of pentacles in reverse. Who doesn't want to come in? On your mind is the two of wands in reverse. Somebody's not taking action or planning for the future. Why is this two of wands in reverse here on Gemini's mind? The fool. Yeah, because somebody doesn't want to take a risk. The fool in reverse can be, I'm not going to make 
you know, like a, like a decision. I'm going to be very cautious. Sometimes the fool in reverse can be a commitment phobe. Somebody on your mind, Gemini, is not taking action or making plans. And because of the fool in reverse, they're cautious or they don't want to commit. It's all happening due to the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Gemini in the foundation? Taurus energy. Why is this Hierophant here? Page of Cups in reverse. Yep. So see, somebody's not open to commitment. It's, it's time together. Hell, this might be for point two of you, one of you, three of you. I don't know. But it's a message for somebody. And it's all tying together. In the foundation, the heart of the matter is a commitment, it's tradition, it's wanting marriage, it's wanting commitment. I think for a lot of you, it's a newer relationship, but you're dealing with somebody who may only want sex only, <clears throat> or it's just kind of in and out energy, you know, it's kind of false start type stuff. Um, with the page of cups in reverse, they might be kind of immature. I have two pages here, so I get the feeling that they're kind of immature, okay? You could be dealing with a water sign, could be a fire sign, hell, it really doesn't matter. All right, but with the Page of Cups in reverse in the foundation, this is somebody that's not opening up to, to their emotion. They're either immature, because it's right on top of the higher vent, which is mature and traditional commitment and relationship. And that Page of Cups in reverse is not mature. They don't want that, right? They're closing off. That's why coming in, you're going to experience the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why is this coming in for Gemini? Three of Swords in reverse again. All right. Stuck energy or a lack of something going your way. There could be third party involvement, you guys. Also in the past with the Three of Swords in Reverse and the Lovers, the Lovers in Reverse can be cheating as well on top of that Three of Swords in Reverse. So coming in, you know, things are stuck, bad karma, something like that. And it has to do with the Three of Swords in Reverse. It has to do with a breakup or something like that or third party. What's this Three of Swords in Reverse coming in for Gemini? The Hermit in Reverse. Sign of Virgo. A lot of Virgo energy here, just saying. Um, also, what I'm getting with the three of sword, the three of swords in reverse can also be um <clears throat> an apology or healing something. And we have this hermit in reverse, which is somebody coming back around. But whatever it is, it's like karmic and it's like bad karma. Like there's no change. You know, so just be leery of that. Okay, I think you guys are dealing with somebody new who doesn't want to commit. They're not making plans. You want a long-term commitment. And then also, you and I'm getting this a lot in the readings, like new and people coming back because um, <clears throat> retrograde is coming on. That's why. You guys have somebody else coming back around or their energy is still around you. Give me another card on the hermit. Why is this hermit here? High Priestess in reverse. Okay. Some, they're going to reveal something to you. Somebody's coming in. I don't know if it'll be communication or what. But with the high priestess in reverse, they're not hiding under the veil. There's a secret coming out or they want to reveal something. And now I'm just nosy. Who's this high priestess in reverse coming in for Gemini? Oh, hi, Scorpio. Death card in reverse. Somebody wants to return to the past, says the death card. Okay. But just know with death in reverse, that can be somebody returning. Okay. Scorpio energy. But also with death in reverse, there's a lack of change. Something has already died and it needs to, well, stay dead. Okay. But you do have somebody coming back around. Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe. You see yourself right now, Gemini, as the eight of wands. I think you guys just want change. You want to move forward. You want something, right? Why is this eight of wands here? You may want to communicate the king of wands in reverse. Okay. You guys are moving away from players. Or the king of wands in reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy could be somebody that's just not taking action. And that's what we see here. You know, somebody that's not going to give you long-term commitment. The king of wands in reverse is not confident in a situation. I think you guys are moving forward from that. Um, why the king of wands in reverse? Four swords in reverse, very restless energy. Also, two wanting to come back around to somebody. Okay, it could be a king of wands. Who do they want to come back to? Who does Gemini want to return? This could just be you feeling kind of restless too. Why the four swords? By the swords, somebody you had conflict with. Okay, so you guys are releasing yourself from something that just didn't work out with a king of wands type energy. Okay, this person may want to come back to you. You may want to go back to that person, but just know there's strife with it. Five of swords is not nice energy, right? That's how you guys see yourself right now. I think a lot of you see yourself taking back your power as well, but also want to return or communicate or do something with somebody that you had some kind of nasty five of swords energy with. You were either manipulative. You know, you could see yourself as manipulative. I just got to throw it out there or somebody does. Right. But there's conflict here and there's very restless energy now outside of you, Gemini. So you're you're in your environment. 
whomever you're dealing with, they have the Seven of Cups. So they might be confused about the connection. Also, too, they could have other options. Why is the Seven of Cups here in Gemini's environment? The Eight of Wands in reverse. I think this person has other options right now and is probably blocking you. They could be confused as well because there is a block. Maybe you blocked them or they blocked you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is this Eight of Wands here? Justice in reverse. They felt like you betrayed them or that they betrayed you. Somebody did somebody wrong here. Major for Libra. There's a lack of balance. And so there's been a block in communication. Somebody did somebody wrong. You know, bad karma. That kind of, That's just what I'm getting. And it could have been somebody that, it could have been somebody had other options. Or there's still confusion on to why there's a blockage in communication. And why somebody either lied or did somebody wrong. In your emotions, the page of pentacles. Ooh, my nose is itching. And that only means one thing. It means, well, there's communication coming from the universe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, no, but my nose does itch during readings. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Why is this in Gemini's emotions? Why do they have the Page of Pentacles here? The Queen of Cups in reverse. Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy. All right. You guys may want to communicate with this energy. But with the Queen of Cups in reverse also, too. But Queen of Cups is not open to emotion. They haven't healed, too. This Queen of Cups energy could be quite scorned, hurt, bitter, sad. Okay. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups in reverse in Gemini's emotions. Why is this Queen of Cups in reverse? A chariot in reverse, right? They're stuck, stagnant energy here. You guys may want communication from them, or you may want to communicate with them, but it's not going anywhere. It's stuck. Now, the outcome, you have the Page of Swords in reverse. Why is this Page of Swords in reverse in the outcome for Gemini? What is this good old Page of Swords in reverse? The Three of Cups in reverse. All right. You guys could find out about a third party, okay? Somebody could have lied or something like that with the Page of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Also, I think there's a block in communication. I think that somebody wants to return to somebody and somebody's blocking it. Somebody's not going to allow some type of reconciliation here. Why the three? I don't see like a reunion. Why the three of cups in reverse and the outcome for Gemini? Yeah, I just said that. They're not a, there's not a reunion. The four of cups in reverse is a missed opportunity. This is somebody that you already had an opportunity with and it's not coming back around. But I'm just seeing somebody in the scenario, energetically speaking, they want it to. That's the energy. They want to come back around and reveal something. But somebody else is being, is being blocked. Okay? Because there was strife here with the five of swords. Um, one more card on the four of cups in reverse. Why is this here? Yeah, judgment in reverse. Somebody's not giving a second chance. Either you or the other person. So I'm seeing like two scenarios here. I'm seeing that you guys have healed something. Could have been third party. Okay, that's you guys, three swords, yada, 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 right? Lovers in reverse is you. You've healed something in the past, okay? You're dealing with somebody. They could be involved with somebody else. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, they could be keeping that a secret, okay? I'm just saying. That's what I'm seeing. But I'm also seeing the energy of something starting quickly, ending quickly. It could be sex only. I think Gemini wants a long-term relationship, coming in it's new and there's a new connection here with this lovers that's you guys on the page of wands that's also new that's communication that's manifestation it's dating but on your mind you're gonna you guys don't see it going anywhere because somebody's not taking action or taking a risk or something you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want to be in a commitment they feel stuck they might be having some financial instability the root of it is is long-term commitment but somebody's not open to it with the page of cups in reverse also, too, what I'm getting is y'all have somebody from the, the past, there's, their energy is still present. They want to return, but there's a lack of change. Don't even do it, you guys, because death in reverse, it's already ended. You know, it's like returning to the past and holding on to it. But there was strife by the swords, okay? You guys may want to communicate with this person, okay? Also, too, others of you just want to move forward. King of Wands in reverse, Leo Sag Aries, somebody, you know, that just, it's, when it's in reverse, it's just not working out. But the four swords in reverse is coming back around, but there's strife to it, you guys. In your environment, kind of the same thing. This person's confused probably about why you blocked them or why they blocked you. There's confusion here. I don't think it's really options. I think it's more confusion because they feel wronged or they feel that, you know, they wronged you or you wronged them and there's a lack of balance. Somebody lied, something like that. Outcome, I feel like you guys still don't communicate with this person. There's a lack of coming together with that three of cups in reverse and missed opportunity. 
four cups and then judgment in reverse, just a lack of a resurrection. So again, you guys have past, present kind of energy going on. If you guys don't want a long-term commitment, that's fine. Have fun. Lovers, page of wands, go at it. Have a good time. But this person, this newer per person, probably isn't going to give you a long-term relationship. And the person from the past that's still around or coming back, you know, there's no resurrection. <laughs>